Hola and bienvenidos to the second episode of The Best Trip Ever. We are coming to you from uh, Secrets Vallarta Bay here in Puerto Vallarta, one of our favorite locations in Mexico. We've been coming here a long time and I just love Puerto Vallarta. I can't believe our first trip here together was 17 years ago, almost to the date. And I love it more and more every time we're here. I first came here in 1988 when I'd just gotten out of high school with some friends. And they're, they're, uh, her, his mother is from Mexico. And so they came here all the time as kids. And we stayed on the beach and ate uh, fish on skewers, the filetas on the skewers. And it's just so it was so much fun then. And certainly things have modernized. But I think a lot of the charm of Puerto Vallarta is timeless. And a lot of the things that I first enjoyed are still here. I, I just love Puerto Vallarta, and I guess we can't begin talking about Mexico to uh, United States, people from the United States, uh, without talking about safety very quickly, because so many people, oh, you can't go to Mexico because it's it's dangerous, and it's this, and it's that, and, you know, honestly, you know, just, if you have common sense, and, you know, there are bad parts of everywhere, there are bad parts of the cities we've lived in, and towns we've lived in. And, you know, as long as you don't do dumb things here, you're going to be just fine. I think the dumbest thing you could do here is buying a timeshare, honestly. <laughs> I think common sense, holding on to your wallet as you would in any large city, keep your passport locked up. It's a great place to be, and I would highly recommend it. It's an excellent value right now, too. You can't find a better value for the dollar when you come to a vacation. And that's what I love about it is because you get some Mexican culture, some real Mexican culture. Uh, you know, with locals and local food and local products and things. But again, you still have the the tourist aspect where you've got some very nice resorts and some very nice places. So you get a nice a nice combination. So if you're looking at going on a vacation where you're not just in this bubble where you're completely insulated from everything that's real, that's why I love Puerto Vallarta. Yeah, I really like that there's a wide range of food to choose from. You've got everything from your street vendors selling tacos to, you know, highly rated five-star hotels with five-star quality gourmet restaurants. It's really a nice variety, and there's something for everybody. That's one of the things we really enjoy is we've done some very high-end, and we've done some two-star accommodations and had some of the best meals of our lives, you know, for under $10. And that's why we keep coming back here year after year after year is for the different experiences it's never the same and you're talking about the food that can be very inexpensive you know we you can go down to the beach and they have uh, places where you can get barbecued fish on skewers and that's a couple of bucks they've got street tacos we went to el carboncito tonight and you know just a few pesos for for authentic tacos and street tacos are are popular right now but gosh we've been getting them down here forever Long before it was trendy. And I know one of the things people still think of is the old adage is, I don't want to go to Mexico because I don't want to get sick. It's not like that anymore. The water's purified. Everything is served safe, clean. I have no issues and I've not had any issues getting sick while in Mexico. I think you've got a better chance sometimes of getting sick at a salad bar in the U.S. with different things as opposed to here. Because frankly, the seafood here is much fresher than anything you're going to get anywhere else because it was literally caught just hours before you're even having it on your dinner plate. The lack of, you know, having everything refrigerated and sitting for days on end, you don't have that here. It's fresh. It's straight from a Mercado and it's going straight onto your plate. And I do love the value. I often talk about people who love to go to Hawaii or they want to go to the Bahamas or wherever. And those are great locations. There's nothing wrong. And I'm sure we'll do some shows about those locations. But when you talk about value for your money, I really think that you can get a tropical experience that is similar. It's different, obviously, but it's similar but at a better price point than, than a lot of other popular tropical locations and destinations. Absolutely. And there's such a wide range. Like I was saying, you can do a two-star accommodations. You could do a five-star accommodation such as a Four Seasons. You can do a moderate motel style. You can do a traditional big box chain such as a Sheraton or a Hilton or you could do something like a condominium. If you're more comfortable with wanting to have a condominium so you can cook your meals, 
They have that here, and then they also have a wide variety of all-inclusive resorts, which is what we've been tending to stay at in most recent years, just based on convenience. I love to walk downtown in the romantic zone, the Zona Romantica, with a lot of the older buildings, kind of like an old town area with the, the Malacone and all of the Mercados and the shops, and it's, I just love it down there. Yeah, and one of the neat things I've done in recent years is they've taken the Malacone, which used to be, it's always been a walkway, but what they did was they took the main street through it for a couple of blocks, and they closed it off to car traffic, so it's all totally pedestrian friendly, so they've brought in more street vendors and activities in the evenings and art. They've got a real art focus, so you can literally wa do a walking tour of the art district with the ocean in the background, and that's one of the changes we've seen through the years, and it's been a really great change, and that's also extended into the businesses. There's great art galleries. There are more fun shops. I mean, there's so many things to look at. Every time we come, there's a different street that seems to be have re-emerged for in our enjoyment. I never get a repeat. I just enjoy Puerto Vallarta for all the aspects that it has, for either food or talking about culture and shopping or just relaxing. Uh, you know, I will say this. It's not the best beaches in the world, but you can find spots. But there's a lot of rocky places. But, you know, for us, we're just happy to hang out on a pool that's near the ocean and get a view of that. I mean, it's... It's a fantastic atmosphere, and I think for the money you can spend down here, you really should look into coming to Puerto Vallarta. And if beach is your number one priority, you might want to consider going a little bit north, about 15, 20 minutes north of downtown, up in the uh, Nayarit area. It's wide span, white, wide span beaches in that area. That's their newer, newer development. It's closer to the airport. And if you do want to come into town, you can take a cab. It's anywhere from $20 to $30, depending on the time of the day. And you will get a longer stretch of beach for walking. Admittedly, the beaches are a lot nicer north of town, even going up as far as Punta de Mita and Sayulita. Fantastic beaches in that area. And that's also kind of a surfer's paradise, too. Correct. It's one of those hidden gems that's redeveloped within about the last 10 to 15 years. It was always kind of a hippie surfer town, and now more and more people are discovering it, and they're actually building hotels into the area. Now, we are staying at one of my favorite chains, AM Resorts, and we're staying at Secrets Vallarta Bay. We're coming at you right now from Secrets Vallarta Bay, which is a resort that is about five years old or so. Oh, yeah, it's very new, and it's it's the adult-only section of, um, of a two-portion hotel. So as you come up the driveway and you head to the left, you're at Secrets Vallarta Bay, which is adult-only, 18 and older. And if you turn right, then you're in the Now Amber, which is the family-friendly, fun-for-all-ages property. The nice thing is when you stay at Secrets, you can still go over and use all the facilities and the dining at at now amber which gives you i think close to a dozen places to dine during your stay including a 24-hour coffee bar uh himitsu teppanyaki there is italian there's french there's a sushi bar i can't even think about how many restaurants there are as well as 24-hour room service and we're actually in the preferred club section this time we've stayed here before which but this has been a nice experience to be in the preferred club because we also have our own 24-hour food service down in our private lobby as well as a bar we have a private concierge and then upgraded amenities in the room so an all-inclusive you know i guess sandals i guess would be probably the most famous all-inclusive brand and i really like the am resorts because we've stayed at several in mexico and around the world and i really like the i like their facilities the way they have everything placed around they've done a tremendous job with that. I like the quality of their food. I like the level of their service. And I, I love the amenities as far as as far as all you can eat and drink. You mentioned the, the, the food options. Even down by the, uh, the swimming pools, they've got uh, snack bars down there. And the burgers that they have right now, they were amazing, delicious. They have these, and not just on like a terrible bun that you can just get at like a grocery store they had like these special homemade artisan buns and the burgers were thick and juicy and really high quality meat i, I mean really high quality top quality stuff down there by the pool and oftentimes the snack bars is kind of where you have your lesser food and this was not the case with here at uh, secrets vr vr bay 
I discovered the smoothie bar this morning, which is only open from 8 to 12. But boy, am I glad I went there this morning. I had my coconut water and bananas and pineapple in a smoothie. And wow, that was fantastic. And if I were to buy that at a juice bar at home, that'd be at least $7. And one of the things I like here, unlike some other all-inclusive chains that we have been to, is that there aren't upcharges. You don't get the, here you can dine at four restaurants, but if you want to dine at XYZ, it's an additional 10 to $15 for this, or $9 for this, or a gratuity needs to be added on. It's, it's all included. And gratuities are included. They're not expected. You're welcome to tip if you wish to. We usually leave a couple bucks each place or extra service. But in no way, shape, or form is it ever expected when you're at an AM resort. They do a great job as far as you mentioned the upcharge. I mean, they do have the teppanyaki himitsu, which we ate at last night, which is, you know, just like any Benihana or any place that you've ever been like that before with the steak and the shrimp and the chicken and the the soup and salad, and even a sushi appetizer. And easily that could be an upcharge or an added charge. And no, it's included. And you just see a lot of value if you get to go to a, a teppanyaki restaurant that's included in the resort. Absolutely. that's a, And the fun thing is, is each night you get to decide, gosh, where do I want to eat? Do I want French? Do I want Italian? There's so many great options in the I think the biggest problem we have is we're never here long enough to try all the restaurants. There's still restaurants that we haven't eaten at, and, and this is our second visit, and I don't think we're going to get to all of them on this trip either. No, we still haven't been to uh, the French restaurant, Bordeaux. We haven't been to, uh, I believe, Capers, the Italian restaurant. Uh, we have been to Tamarindo, the Mexican, which I enjoy, which is very good. Yeah, it's excellent upscale Mexican food. It's fantastic. Now, keep in mind, there are options that you can, you know, like they do like a sunset dinner where you maybe have to pay extra and things like that. There are there are a few things, but it's not the usual nickel and dime you for for things that you would expect. No restaurant is going to give you an up an up charge for dining there. That's the nice part about it. Um, if you want to do a private dinner for two, of course there's an up charge. So much as like there's an, a charge if you're going to utilize the spa, but that in itself is well worth it. Well, let's talk about the spa, which is personally, we've been to spas around the world and this one is absolutely my favorite. It is like nothing you have ever seen before. You walk in and the whole spa area with the uh, thalassotherapy and the thermal suites before you get your massage, the treatment rooms, is all this reconditioned wood. And it looks just amazing. And you go in and there are all these pools and these showers and hot tubs and saunas. And they're all lit like with this ambient lighting. So they turn blue or pink or lavender and it really adds to the mood. What I really like about it is we've been to a lot of spas, but some spas are, they keep the men and women separate areas, and we like to go to spas together. So it's great because we can go in there, utilize the facilities together, and we enjoy it together as opposed to going to a spa, saying goodbye, and I'll see you in an hour and a half. We're actually there to enjoy the time while we're there. One of the things I won't do, though, because I'm a big chicken, is that they even have an ice cold plunge pool, which looks very frigid, and I can't even get one toe in there. I'd rather stay in the warmer pools with the the heated seats and the really strong bubbles that come up from below. I mean, they just have some really high pressure water treatments, which are great. And you can do the whole entire circuit or you can just stand in the shower and have a giant bucket dump on your head as well as multiple saunas. There's so many great things. And we usually spend at least an hour before our treatment in there. And even yesterday, we spent at least an hour after our treatment. So I would say our time in the spa yesterday was well over three hours. And even if you don't like massages, I would recommend uh, paying extra and going to the spa and enjoying the thermal suite and enjoying the philosophy with, like you said, all the bubbles and the different showers and the saunas and it's it's an atmosphere like you've never seen anywhere else. It is just gorgeous. And whomever designed it is, well, they're a genius. Let, let's be honest. They're, they're a genius. But it's a great way to relax. It's a great way to unwind either before or after dinner. And I can't recommend it enough. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous facility. It's an 
excellent value for the amount of things that you get they even have snacks they serve in there they've got three kinds of specialty waters that you can enjoy while you're um, relaxing either pre or post treatment and it's beautiful and they have a full service salon they do everything from hair to nails to facials it's a high high quality salon and spa and of course they have a gymnasium here and they also have a, a grass tennis court uh, they have a lot of things, and of course, they have plenty of activities because it is an all-inclusive resort. Uh, for example, here on uh, the secret side, they do beach volleyball, they play games, they have water aerobics, of course, uh, belly flop, blackjack, ping pong, you know, a lot of the things you'd find, say, on a cruise ship or any other any other resort. They have kids' activities, of course, and they give you the rundown each day of what you can participate in, if you choose to participate. Or you could do nothing at all, which is what we see a lot of, and we're as guilty as the next person of doing that. But it was also fun to be sitting out on the pool bar today and watching people that were had uh, paid to go out with the parasailers. That was fun because it was quite a windy day, and it, they were way up in the air, and we enjoyed it from below. I sat on my air mattress and watched the world go by. Yeah, they have uh, several pools, uh, the whole area down there. They have a number of different pools in different locations. So, you know, obviously the pool with the swim-up bar is very active. They have some quieter pools. They have some smaller pools. So you can really find something that fits your attitude and your mood and whatever you feel like doing. And since we're on the secret side, there's no children in those pools, which makes it even better. And, you know, they also do a nice job with the families, though. So if you do have kids, I think this is a nice place to go. And it's a great alternative to, to a cruise or several other options like i said i love mexico and i think it's a it's a tremendous value for for your money and you you mentioned that uh, what's the area we're in we're in the preferred club we're in the preferred preferred club tower and there's other options too oh yeah there's a nice variety and i think i've decided on this trip the next time we come here i want to do the preferred clubs swim up rooms which they offer swim up in both the traditional tower as well as the preferred club but i really like it because you could step right outside your door and you're in your own semi-private pool area and with the preferred club we were speaking to some guests that were staying there today they even come over to your your preferred club pool when you're at your swim up with food and beverage so if you want to order a drink they will bring it right to your your swimming pool wall and bring it to you and you're essentially in your room so it's even better than room service you don't even have to leave your pool area and food and drink is brought directly to you one of the things i did notice here is this is a bit of a late rising resort uh, speaking of pools, if you do want to get out and get a chair, um, 8.30 wasn't a problem. It was pretty clear at 8.30. We've been to some resorts where you've got to be up and out or have something covering your chair at like 6.30, 5.30 in the morning. And this isn't the case here. No, not at all. People were coming out 10, 10, 30. They were able still to get chairs. I mean, you're not going to get the front row, and we tend to just get up earlier, so we had no issues. But it is one that, you know, there are plenty of chairs, and people are kind of coming and going throughout the day. And the way that the property is laid out is pretty well terraced. So if you're not at one of the pools, they also have multiple palapas on the beach, all with chairs, and you still get food and beverage service down there as well. What other places, what other cities are AM Resorts in? They are in Jamaica. They are in the Dominican Republic, Riviera Maya, all anywhere from basically Playa Mujeres to Isla Mujeres to heading down to Acumal. I mean, they're all over Mexico. They're primarily started with Mexico. They're in Cabo. They are in Huatulco, but the most would be in the Riviera Maya the, and Jamaica. They have two properties and quite a handful in the Domini in the Dominican Republic, of course. And the nicest thing is they have everything what they call their sunscape, which would be their more moderate accommodations. Then they go to Dreams, which is family friendly. Secrets, which is adults only. Now, which is like the Now Amber, what they have nows in different locations as well. They're kind of something for everybody. They have Breathless, which is the uh, more adult a party scene 
which is great. Something for everyone. They really catered a bachelor, bachelorette parties, just adults that like to have a really great time. And then they have their zoetry resorts. They have a couple of those throughout Mexico and the Caribbean, which is their adult spa focused properties. They're quiet, they're serene. They have spa treatments included at many of them. And it's very much a Zen feel when you're staying there. For example, the one in the Riviera Maya, each room's individually decorated by the owner. It's less than 70 rooms, boutique style luxury accommodations. So the nice thing that I like about the AM resorts is there's something for everyone. Whether you're traveling with girlfriends for a bachelorette party or if you're traveling for a destination wedding, there's something for every price range as well from three to five star. I love them. I think that the food is excellent. I think the service is excellent. And I just love the design. They obviously have thought of everything as far as you know the lobbies have nice chairs and there's bars there and if you're if you're a drinker matter of fact we're talking to a couple from nashville today who were here and they're saying oh yeah we like to drink uh you know they've got a lot of uh high quality alcohol um you know especially if you're staying the preferred club they've got some top shelf things that you can't get uh, just for the uh, in the regular areas of the the resort but even even if you're in the regular areas i mean they had some very nice choices and the bartenders were hustling and making all kinds of uh, all kinds of different drinks, and obviously because it's Mexico, they do specialize in tequila, and you could uh, pay an upcharge to get some very high quality like tequila brands that are often hundreds of dollars for a bottle. Yeah, and the gentlemen were coming around with a tequila cart this afternoon, and plenty of people were enjoying being able to buy a bottle of Azul or just buy a drink of Azul without having to be the high premium prices that you'd have to pay at home and also seeing what you like. Maybe you want to buy a bottle and take it home duty, take it home from the duty free shop. There's kind of something going on for everybody. They had a lot of people. The new trend must be that you bring your own kind of uh, insulated cup. Lots of people in the pool today with those that were drinking whatever, you know, frozen drinks they were drinking or beers out of their own personal cups. I've noticed that's a real new trend at all inclusive resorts in recent years. Well, I enjoy it a lot, and I think if you come to Mexico, um, keep in mind that uh, if you go down shopping, there's there's bartering, so keep that in mind. You're also going to run the gauntlet when you go downtown. They're going to go, hey, honeymooners, for you almost free today, and you know try to sell you stuff. And if you're interested, it's it's fun to barter, and that's that's part of the the being being down here in Mexico. But if you're not interested, just just keep walking and don't get sucked in. Yeah, it's easy enough to say no thank you and just keep on walking. That's what people think. Oh, they keep talking to me. They keep catcalling at me. And I'm like, nobody says you have to, to, to have a dialogue with them. Just keep walking and go along about your day. And if you do want to buy something, go for it. But if you are bartering, make sure you get the best value for your dollar or peso. Yeah, it's all in good fun. It's all part of the process. So who do you think would be good for an AM resort? I think pretty much anybody. I mean, it's a great option. I think there's a wide enough variety between the multiple chains that they have or the multiple brands underneath the brand. And I think something for everybody. I mean, I can't think of anybody who wouldn't enjoy it unless you're someone that's just adamantly against doing an all-inclusive. Occasionally people are like, I don't drink. I don't want to do an all-inclusive. I don't eat that much. But when you sit down and figure out what a week in Maui is going to cost you staying at a big branded hotel chain and you maybe order lunch at the bar or, or at a pool bar area or you go get a buffet. If you've not had a buffet breakfast at a hotel in Hawaii in recent years, they're $35 a person. You look at what you're going to spend by staying at an all-inclusive in Mexico excellent value for the dollar and especially when i find like honeymoon couples for example maybe you think here's my exact dollar amount i can spend on my honeymoon you have to think do you, did you include food and beverage my rule of thumb used to always be ten dollars for breakfast twenty dollars for lunch and thirty dollars for dinner that's per person not including drinks but now those prices have escalated so much that it's a lot more than that well you're easily going to spend that in hawaii and in mexico if you do an all-inclusive or in the caribbean an all-inclusive it's going to be such a better value and you're going to know up front exactly how much this trip's going to cost you speaking of buffets the uh, buffet that they have here is incredible the market cafe and primarily a lot of people eat there for lunch and breakfast and if you go for breakfast they have got 
anything you could possibly want from traditional breakfast food to bacon and eggs to uh, Mexican things. They make uh, they have uh, homemade quesadillas right there. They make those to order. You can get uh, omelets to order. You can get all kinds of different uh, Mexican breakfast options, English breakfast options. They've got everything there. Oh, and of course, my favorite, pan dulce. But then I also have so many great fresh fruits. I mean, I just can be totally happy having papaya and pineapple and just all these great fresh fruits. And of course, the popular spot I noticed every morning at breakfast is the Make Your Own Bloody Mary bar. Seems to be very popular. You could make your own mimosa or Bloody Marys. They've had this bar set up with everything you could want, whether it's champagne or vodka and uh, tomato juice or even clamato which i didn't even know they made anymore but they have it here no thank you i'm over at my table enjoying my uh, all i can drink cappuccinos and lattes thank you <laughs> but again it's a tremendous value and i really love secrets and dreams and just anything that's that's AM Resorts. I'm always happy when we when we get to stay there. Did you say they just won an award? They just won the Travel Age and Wave Awards for, I believe it was the best Mexican all-inclusive. And I'm really proud of them because it's a new brand. It hasn't been around that long. It's been in the last 15 years that they've come to be. And they've come up quickly and they've grown quickly. They even have properties. I keep forgetting. They have Panama now. They have Costa Rica. They've really expanded and they're doing a great job with it. And they're not just coming in and like dropping in a couple of restaurants. Each one's individually themed and well thought out. And they've kind of got a great pattern. There's usually always a a great seafood restaurant and they take into account what environment you're in. So here the seafood restaurant has the most wonderful view. So you can sit and watch the sunset while you're having dinner. Oceana. So again, um, just a tremendous place. You could be on the beach. You can be by the pool. They have nightclubs. They have activities. Just anything you could want on a vacation. And plus, Puerto Vallarta is just a wonderful city with so much charm and so much history. I just love it. And we come here probably, you know, I'd say on average at least once a year. At least once a year. Sometimes we've been here even more. It's kind of like we feel like we're coming home. It's one of these places where... When we get off the plane, we kind of do a sigh of relief. We're like, we're home again. And even if we're just here for three or four days, as this trip is, we've been here as long as 10 days at a time. It's always that little bit of reprieve that we like from, you know, from real life. And we feel like we're on a quick getaway. So I think for value, I think for everything you can get, I would look into Puerto Vallarta. And no matter where you go, I would absolutely look into AM Resorts. Highly recommended. Well, here we are from Puerto Vallarta at Secrets Vallarta Bay. One more thing before we go. I do want to mention one of the things I do love about this is the location. Is that so many of the resorts for a number of years were in Nuevo Vallarta and more on the outskirts of town. And now we're seeing some of these more high-end resorts in town. So you don't have to pay 20, 40 bucks or whatever it is for a cab and drive into town. And that takes time. We're literally just minutes away from downtown. It's like six, ten bucks, depending on the time, depending on the cab. And you can be downtown anytime. And even you could even probably walk or grab the bus. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be that hard. So I really, really love not only all the amenities and the quality of Secrets of to Bay. I love the location of being very close to town. And I love the rooms. I mean, I think one of the things we forgot to mention is that all the rooms are wonderfully appointed. They all have giant uh, soaking tubs of jacuzzis. And here in the Preferred Club, we even have a jacuzzi on our deck. So we have one on our deck, one in our room, and they're large, oversized rooms, and they're really well appointed. They're not little shoebox rooms you can spread out. There's a sitting area. There's plenty of storage space. You've got a Fully a uh, full mini bar that's restocked da- restocked daily. We have snacks, and then we even have a Nespresso machine. This is all in the room. It's wonderful and twenty four hour room service. If we were too lazy to leave our room, and some people have, and with all you can drink, some people <laughs> need to stay in their room, as, as you can imagine. So, absolutely, if you're one of the people who are on the fence about Mexico, I cannot encourage you enough. I love it. I think it's so much fun. I think it's beautiful. And it's just great to just be down here in Puerto Vallarta and just to have a place as great as Secrets Vallarta Bay and then all of the charm and uh, 
just the beauty of Puerto Vallarta. Just it's so it's got a little it's a little rustic, but I just I just love it that way because it feels authentic. It feels real as opposed to some other resort towns that are just you know wall to wall cookie cutter places. This place is unique, and I just love that charm. Give it a try. I highly recommend it. So here we are from Secrets Vallarta Bay in beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and we declare this the best trip ever. Adios.